Morning, welcome back to the channel. If you're a man and you want to be happy with a woman, stay tuned because I've got some excellent relationship advice for you. Now then, okay, so relationship advice. Okay, if you're going to be with a woman and you're going to be happy, it's important that, uh, you know, the woman is bright and funny and can make you laugh. It's also important that uh, you can trust the woman and she doesn't lie to you. It's important that, uh, you know, she's good in bed and she enjoys being with you. Uh, and it's important that, you know, she keeps the house nice and cooks you a meal every now and again. But the most important thing of all is that none, none of these four women know each other. Otherwise, you know, you're going to end up like me, single, and go to bed every night of the week, the same way I come into this world, naked, wet, and crying. But what I would like to say to, uh, you know, any big and beautiful women out there, you know, if you are looking for a good time and you are between 29 and, uh, I don't know, 39. Um, not stone, obviously, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not, yeah, I'm not doing that again. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, and you're in the Manchester area and, you know, you're nice and plump. Uh, leave a message below and I'll get back to you. Okay, so uh, I've just got out of my, my third job of the day. I'm in Burnley. I've come to these uh, doggies called my customer. I come here every year and uh, this stream's right near his house. So I'm going to work for him. I'll come and let Fozzie have a little minute. We can have a swim. You ready, lad? You ready? Go, go, go. Good boy. Now then, I've got a bit more advice for, for all you guys out there. Now, you would have thought that if you're going to be romantic, that you're naturally going to be in the, in the woman's good books. Well, not necessarily, as, uh, as I found out to my peril. You know, I thought what I'd do is I'd write her a nice poem, you know. But uh, anyway, it didn't, uh, didn't work out too well. She wasn't best pleased. But I thought I'd tell you the poem. For me, love blossomed with a girl with a big bottom. And her whole body wobbled because she'd eaten way too much from McDonald's. In fact, her ideal meal was 15 chocolate eclairs. Had trouble getting up the stairs and made a three-seater sofa. Looked like an armchair and kissing her body all over. Well, that was a real mammoth task. Because she used to like to drink a lot of lukewarm lard from a tartan thermos flask. And off to the curry house every night she went. And the gases used to vent. She was eating about the same amount as a full-grown adult African elephant. And she spent a fortune on DIY, having fitted double doors. Had scores and scores of Cadbury's chocolate Swiss roll logs. Which is probably why her neck looked a lot like it's in a hot dogs. Because she would eat anything and everything from plates and plates of fish and chips. To deep fried shark fins served on a bed of dolphin lips. Really roomy round the hips. Always gulped and never sipped. To right greedy bitch. And then all of a sudden, she just up sticks and left. I think she was probably bored of frustration. Because no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get Thomas to pull into the fat controller station. Excuse me. Okay, um, got one more job to do. Just come out of my uh, penultimate job. I'd like to tell you about the people there, but I 
can't. Other than to say, I definitely wouldn't take Fozzy in there, no matter what they said. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, give you one more piece of advice, really, about relationships. And this one's really important because um, I've learned, you know, through bitter experience that, that hell had no fury like a woman scorned. So if a relationship is coming to a natural end, you know, just as many do, this is a time when you need to be really considerate, uh, especially if you're wanting out of the relationship. Because I find that, that the vast majority of women, the, the delicate souls, and they're easily damaged. You know, you can easily hurt the feelings, or even worse, you know, really lower their self-esteem if you're not careful when leaving the relationship. So I find the best thing to do is, is not to be direct. It's just to, you know, just start acting like a dick. And after a few weeks, maybe a couple of months, they get shut of you. They always do. They don't put up with that sort of stuff. And that way, you know, you've not hurt the feelings. You've not, uh, you've not damaged their self-esteem. And I get to be myself for a few weeks or months. So, you know, there's no harm done, is there? But, of course, you may not necessarily have weeks or months. You may need to get out of the relationship quick. Well... There is a way to do that, again, causing absolute minimum upset, you know, not hurting their uh, feelings too much, which is important. And that is, uh, what you do is uh, you just come on to one of the friends, or the sister, or even the mum, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. Because, you know, they're going to grass you up straight away, or they're going to reciprocate, so you can't lose! Okay, I've... Uh it's got five or ten minutes to kill before I can get into my next job. And uh, I've just come to the park, it's around the corner, job's over there. I'm in Langworthy in Salford. <laughs> and I just wanted to say, you know, ladies, if you are thinking of leaving a message, you know, please, please do. Unless, of course, you've ever been called a nutter or a fruitcake or a daffodil or a psycho bitch from hell. Or if you're into anything, you know, really weird like uh, space docking, you know, it's just not going to work. And, and if it can help it, I really don't want to end up having to sleep with your mother.